Hello viewers, today I am going to uh, record our first video ASP.NET full stack development and in this video we will cover uh, our .NET environment, Visual Studio and uh, .NET SDK uh, which version of .NET SDK we are going to use. So let's start. So I already installed Visual Studio 2020 community version. You can use uh, VS Code as well and also i already installed the dotnet sdk so that video uh, we can minimize the video duration so uh, as i already installed visual studio i am not going to present uh, this installation and also the dotnet sdk I, I just go to the web uh, microsoft site and may show you how you can download visual studio 2020 and dotnet sdk let me just show you what dotnet version i have installed in my local pc so that you can check after installation in your pc as well so this is pretty simple command um, dotnet version so i already installed the latest 8.0 and uh, also the other version as well if you want to see the other version then you have to write dotnet uh, info right F. so uh, as i mentioned i have installed already other version like 567 uh, so in this tutorial i'm going to select dotnet 7 which is latest and uh, more stable version so uh, before just creating project let me just go to the microsoft website uh, visual studio Visual Studio. So you can download Visual Studio from the Microsoft uh, site, and uh, Visual Studio is uh, community version is free, so you can download community version. And for .NET SDK, .NET SDK seven. So you have to type .NET SDK seven, and in the dotnet sdk 7 base you have to download like windows so just for uh, give you a simple overview sp.net is cross platform uh, you can run this application in the mac os linux and windows as well and also other uh, if i just give you a simple overview sp.net is um, secure secure scalable cross platform and uh, like uh, integration with microsoft ecosystem versatile and market demand it has huge market demand so anyways so we have summarized uh, the how you can download visual studio uh, and the dotnet sdk and how you can check the dotnet sdk in your local pc just you have to go to the uh, powershell and just type a simple command i will share the command as well so now we i am going to create project so our project name will be uh, personal data management so just in the, in the in the lesson one so our project name will be personal uh, data management so let me just create create a new project so we'll uh, use mbc so MVC. So already we have ASP.NET Core MVC and uh, Model View Controller. We uh, we use this uh, template. So our project name uh, that will be covered the namespace name Personal Data MNS, which is management. And let me just uh, select a path so that we can open uh, this project from there. So. This is the pro temporary uh, location for saving this project. Uh, next, and uh, we I have other version as well. So we are going to use seven and configure HTTPS create. So project is creating using .NET SDK seven point zero. I already uh, press. I already show you uh, in my PC local PC the .NET SDK seven point version is installed. And you have to make sure your Visual Studio so that you can open this project using Visual Studio. And using Visual Studio, you can just uh, right click and the build.
and the right click also the play button you can run the project so i'm just going to run the project using play button or f5 using uh, keyboard f5 uh, for run the project so project is running uh, this is the default template and the port number is 7195 form privacy and uh, the home page welcome to building web application using asp.net so our project is ready so in this lesson one we just create a, a default mpc template a default project there is no database no dynamic operation so in the next tutorial we, we move uh, step by step how we can create interactive uh, database connectivity project so uh, also we can run this project from the terminal just right click in the project and go to open in terminal and you have to type just to command dot and build dot net build uh, so project uh, build is going on and the run projects also the dotted run so project is running uh, with port number 5216 and if we go to the uh, browser localhost and uh, 5216 5216 then we have a default website uh, we don't have any database connection, any dynamic functionality. So in the next, uh, in our next series, we will cover almost five or six uh, videos so that we can complete complete uh, good operation using database connection. So if we uh, explain the project's current project structure, so we have a controller and model. A controller uh, is a, a middleman. It will communicate with the model and view. So view is like UI. So model will communicate. Uh, basically, controller will communicate a request uh, to model, and model uh, face data from database, and controller process data and uh, pass to the view, and you can see the data. And in the program.cs, we have to uh, add services here, like uh, database and other uh, uh, dependency injection, like uh, and based on the based on the project needs, we will add other services as well. So this is the overall summary uh, in our first lesson. So hopefully uh, you will understand. If you have any question, you can ask me. So in the next uh, lesson two, we'll cover install required packages uh, for ORM object relational mapping. So we will uh, use code first approach and uh, we will use entity framework code. So thank you. See you in the next video.